Now, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is Tasty doing in the monkey room? Don't you hate TOA? Well, yes, but also no, it's, it's complicated, we'll get into it. But you know what I do like is a money. Money. <laughs> it's my best. Mr. Krabs impression. Historically, TOA has shown me very little kindness, and one could argue that's because I die a lot, but how about you shut the hell up? Recently, I saw this video from Jiul, which I will link below, and I took inspiration. See, when it comes to TOA loot scaling, the raid level is pretty much the cream of the wheat. Now, pushing this bad boy as high as possible makes your loot scale actually pretty immensely. But there is a core issue with the invocation system. You see, past a certain point, you really stop changing the raid mechanics, and instead, you just make everything more tedious, you make it longer, more annoying, and it quickly becomes rather unfun. At least in my opinion, some people disagree, but those people are what we will call wrong. In comes the savior of the day, the Minimal Sweat Solo 400s. You see, it's still a 400, which requires a tiny bit of sweat, but the invocations are perfect crafted to make this the best balance of tedium to reward now let's get into what they are do you like blowing things up i certainly hope so because today's episode is brought to you by war thunder war thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made with more than 2,000 planes ships tanks and helicopters in dynamic pvp battles every vehicle is incredibly detailed which offers a highly immersive combat experience play now on pc xbox playstation and previous gen consoles not only is there a collection of vehicles that spans over 100 years of development but it also has an in-depth customization system with paint historical markers and 3d decorations wow my personal favorite part of the game the m50 ontos why dude it's sick Look at that thing. Play War Thunder now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation by following my link. If you register on PC, there is a free large bonus pack with multiple premium vehicles, boosters, and more. All right, sift the ambrosia for good luck. KC number one. All right, certainly that's the first try. Purple. <laughs> Sick. Okay, okay, back to the invocations. See, this avoids all of the truly awful mechanical invocations, namely Medic, Quiet Prayers, Double Trouble, and Keep Back. But you also get to avoid the invocations that just flat out make things less fun, right? So all of the path invocations, those are really just not worth it. They add too much time to the raid. Uh, quiet Prayers is pure agony, and Overly Draining is the definition of boring. Now, as you can see, everything selected on this list is actually pretty easy to deal with, right? And our inventory is perfectly crafted to stave off the dreadful tedium to which I was referring earlier. So how lazy can you actually be? Now, that is my favorite question, and it's really the whole purpose of this video. Let's take a look at our setup real quick. Now, I bring the Blood Fury because I'm not poor, uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much max gear, a Void Waker as a spec weapon, and the Sun Stick for emergency use. We stack ourselves some restores, and we have a couple emergency brews as well, but I rarely use these. Now, this means that you do not have to red X, prayer flick, or butterfly if you so choose. Now, personally, I, I like butterfly, so I did do that. But I did not prayer flick a single time, and it was glorious. No RSI for me. Now, as for red Xing Baba, I'm not really sure if the extremely boring red X method or the bullshit of just dealing with this boss the intended way is worse, but I'm going to leave that up to you. Now, you can take some personal liberties with the setup as well. I played around with the setup that Jewel brought until I found something comfortable enough for my needs. If you're better than me and or more confident, you could just put on dehydration and bring the sun stick. You may want to turn on soft core, okay, because dying really puts a dent in this plan as evidenced here. Dude, what the f- So what do we get for toiling away in these solo 400s? Well, this is the good part, right? The purple chance is roughly a 1 in 10. Now, if you're fast, you can get 2 kills per hour here, which is essentially a purple every 5 hours, which is an enormous expected value, okay? Especially if you can nab yourself a stat. Did I mention this is a Sweaty Sunday? I don't think I have. Gamers, welcome to the redux of Sweaty Sunday TOA. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Sweaty Sunday is a series in which I, your humble host, Tasty Life, race against the projected GP per hour of a piece of content 
for 8 hours straight. If I win this bad boy, I get to keep myself that GP, but if I lose, I give it away to one lucky viewer. To enter to win, subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment with your RSN and a suggestion for a future boss. This setup is honestly so comfortable, it's, it's insane. It's almost a little too comfortable, like I feel like I could bring more things. I was being so liberal with my supplies. Liberals! Might even be worth to bring a ZCB. That's two extra switches, but um, honestly, I could drop a brew and drop a restore, and I could still not have to prayer flick or, like, red X or do anything like that. Please die, bro! Please! Holy! Alright, KC number two. Fucking Walmart bow right here, dude. And never like I figured I'll get about 10 KC today. 15, you idiot, do math better. Which means we can expect one purple, but knowing my luck, that means either we're gonna get three or we are going to get zero. Because TOA and myself don't really tend to agree on a lot of things. <gasps> 20 minutes later. Die, thank you. Oh, oh, that was sloppy, dude. <laughs> okay. All right. This is our third KC. Oh, buddy boy. Oh, it's simply too easy for me. But look at the log real quick. My log here is so awful. The I, I just, okay. As long as it's not a ward or like a ring, I'll be happy. I already have two wards. Please, no ward. Anything else, please. Please, game. How about staff? Glad. <laughs> oh, no! No! Dude. I hate this game. You know, the one thing I've learned about TOA is that no matter how hard you try to game the system and, you know, curry points in your favor, make it more bearable, at the end of the day, it's still TOA. So, that's unfortunate. Oh, why did I sip that? Oh, oh man. And light work. Okay, clearly, the back-to-back -back separated by one doesn't count. Ah. I'm getting pretty fast at these, though. Like, that was 30 minutes. I think if I did my calculations correctly, that was 5kc we've done so far. We should get to probably 13, maybe 12 if I die again. But I'm going to try my very best not to do that. Ooh KC number 6. Unfortunately, two kind of later deaths has made it, so probably 12kc is what we're getting here. In another purple. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, please, no ward. <laughs> Just, that's all, literally, that's all I care about. Please, no ward, please, please, please. It's gonna be a light bear, isn't it, dude? Oh. Okay, we'll take chaps. We will take chaps. That is, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. And an elite clue. They're only 65 mil. Holy shit, those are cheap. All right, I am going to try to bring a DDS and get two downs on the core because I don't really have anything else to, I don't know, spec with. Um, the only other change I am potentially thinking about making oops, is to bank both of my brews, turn on dehydration, and bring in a ZCB. That'll let me turn off some of the other slightly more annoying invocations because it's, it's worth like 30 or something like that. And if I use brews, it means something has gone horribly wrong. Um, I haven't used brews in too many of these attempts, but I don't know. I'm a little scared to try it, but we'll see how this one goes. If it goes perfectly, if I use zero brews, we'll give it a shot next time. <laughs> Ooh, we clean with it, boys. <clears throat> back to back. Ah, time to focus up. Immediately, I unfocus. Oh my god, that was so scary. Okay, that was the first time I've ever actually ended a run with every single supply I brought in used. That was uh, awful. I mean, that was poor play and also extremely unlucky. But, okay, the danger is aside. Honestly... Two down is kind of worth it. 
That saves a lot of time. I know I don't technically get as many points, but if someone knows the math of like points per hour, put in the comments down below. Because usually how it works is uh, I wait for players who are better than me to tell me what to do and think, and then I parrot that opinion as if it was my own. Dude, my footwork's getting better, boys. I'm getting pretty good at this. Surely a third purple. Oh my god, dude, what is... Dude, what? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. It's gonna be a ring. At least it's a collection lock slot, right? Okay, I'll take, I'll take a uh, Okay. Oh, it has been such a long day and I'm so like heartbreakingly sick of this raid, but we still have about four more. I'm pretty sure if I did my math correctly. So we're not giving up yet, boys. Plus we have three purples in what, eight cases? Like that's, that's ridiculous. I can't stop now. I'm on a hot streak, baby. Oh, dude, the DPS was nuclear, dude. I wasn't even paying attention to my overheads. Um... Surely not a fourth purple? Ah, okay, okay, okay. We got we got three more raids in the tank. I, I can't even be mad if we don't get anything. Like, I, I, I really can't. We've already gotten three purples. I'm pretty sure we're way past our expected GP. I changed my mind, though. I'm still going to be complaining because I like to. Fuck you. KC number 10 for the session. And no purple. All right, gamers, this has been like the longest day of my life, but this is going to be the final raid for Sweaty Sunday. Wish us luck. Ooh, all right, buddy. Final KC. We know how this ends. All right, this is Sweaty Sunday. We never get lucky, but what if we did? All right, I need everybody to fucking get, get, all right, on the count of three, we're gonna hit the like. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but like it if you like the video. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the end of Sweaty Sunday for the white light. Gamers, I love you, let's go look at some math. Okay, so to reiterate, the expected GP per hour from Solo 400s is right around six million. Now, we definitely did get a little lucky. Honestly, we got two more purples, really, than we, we should have. However, they were two dog shit purples. But that's fine because our final GP for eight hours straight of Tombs of a Masket. Bada bing, bada boom. 74 mil, which means we got just about 9 mil per hour. Which means we won. This is the first time I've won a Sweaty Sunday in like a year and a half, dude. Oh my god. So freak you guys, all right? There's no giveaway this week. Nice try. I guarantee, bro, I guarantee people are still going to be putting their goddamn RSN in the comments, all right? But okay, here's a, here's a little challenge for people who watch this far and have good video comprehension. If if you comment your RSN and the word potatoes in the comments, all right, we will do a 10 mil giveaway this week, but only for the people that actually watch this far and listen. Again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Play War Thunder now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation by following my link. If you register on PC, there is a free large bonus pack with multiple premium vehicles, boosters, and more. Now, we did lose three runs, two of them at Wardens and one of them at Zabak, so obviously that could have been probably another three that we actually got KC, but I'm not going to complain. We actually cleared today, so remember gamers, stay tasty.